My name is Marietta Nagrampa Almazan. I was uh, born in uh, the Philippines in um, a city named uh, Iriga City. And I came here um, in 1983. I've been in private practice for 20 years. I have my own private practice in Sacramento. You know, nobody wants us. Nobody wants to see us. You know, they call us shrink. And um, it's a, a, a stigmatized disorder. It's a, it's a stigmatized field. But they come to us uh, when they're desperate. So when they are um, in our doorstep, that means that it took them a lot of courage to come. And I, I just published a book uh, six, eight months ago um, on the titles Bipolar Disorder. This is a growing, um, prevailing disease now in the country. And um, there's not much public knowledge, even the society. The uh, understanding and the awareness of these problems will, for me, will um, allow people who are afflicted with the disease to come out of the closet and, and be treated. And there's a lot of people who are afflicted with this. They don't have to have medications but some of them, they may carry it with them, is diagnosed. But they don't um, ask for help until they are on a very acute phase. So uh, education is very, very important because you can uh, prevent it. You can understand symptoms, uh, temperaments. You can understand. Uh, what you call pre-morbid behaviors before the breakdown. And that will be a cue for anybody who is working very hard, um, having a lot of energy, um, having double jobs, working 80 hours a week, having trouble at home, trouble at work. But they're still OK up until they crash. And that's the time that they come to see us. My um, going back and forth recently to the Philippines because of medical mission, it's time for me to pay back, so to speak. You know. So I've been doing some charity here and there, uh, once a year or every other year, with a group of other organizations. And I, um, I'm their mental health specialist. They don't want to be labeled, so you know, I, I offer them medications, free medications. I bring medications, that, uh, psychotropic medications that are not available, especially there. So it's, it's, it's the obligation of, of the society, of us, the clinician, or anybody else to um, increase awareness about the brain disorders is actually just no different from uh, diabetes, hypertension, heart disease that needs intervention for a biological agent. So that's, that's the same as that. I know that Filipinas are, are usually regarded as meek, weak, submissive, violated, victimized. And um, we don't have to go through that. We cannot tolerate any violation of our privacy, violation of our rights as a person. Um, no abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, or verbal abuse should happen in our lives. We can assert ourselves in front of men, in front of husbands, in front of colleagues, socially, at work situation, or on the streets. We can assert, we don't have to be aggressive, but we can assert and be heard. I've learned that um, it is very good to be autonomous as a woman, and it's very good to be treated as equal with men.